morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you all for being here today. It's a, a very good day for democracy. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge the senators that are here, uh, Chair Rodericks, Senator Barry Feingold, Senator Leader Cream, Senator Chang Diaz, Senator DiZaglio, and Senator Moran. We're all here today uh, to unveil the Massachusetts State Senate's Votes Act. This Votes Act is a comprehensive package of election reforms which will increase access to voting in the Commonwealth. We have some other uh, folks who will have their chance to speak. We are very happy that you are here. Through same-day registration, permanent mail-in voting, early in-person voting, and increased access to voting for persons with disabilities and individuals who are incarcerated. I am so proud of this bill and of the Senate for always standing up pushing forward and expanding voting access. True representative democracy is perpetual work in progress. It requires vigilance on the part of citizens and constant attention from lawmakers. And I am particularly proud of the attention and thought process that has gone into this bill, especially in light of what is happening across our country. An anti-democratic, fundamentally un-American darkness is spreading across the United States. As some states act to actually restrict legally eligible voters' access to the ballot. While no longer as blatantly racist as Jim Crow era laws, the intended effect is unfortunately the same, to strip the fundamental right of voting from people of color, young people, people from low-income backgrounds, and other historically disenfranchised groups. If our nation is to make it through this difficult moment, we must, and I emphasize, we must show the power of not only protecting and exp but expanding voters' access to the ballot box. It's just not simply enough to protect. We need to expand that access. One of the few silver linings of COVID-19 is that we had the chance to prove to the world and other states that these voting reforms can and do work. In fact, it's important to note that voter turnout in the 2020 elections in Massachusetts with early and mail-in voting in place was the highest in our history. It was the highest voting in our history. So Massachusetts clearly is on to something here. Voting is the foundation of our democratic republic. It is the franchise by which free people may have their voice heard. It's the most sacred of our rights here in the Commonwealth and as United States citizens. So I am so grateful to be standing here with my colleagues and friends across the state to preserve, protect, and expand this fundamental right. So we thank you for being here. I want to especially thank Senators Cream, Leader Cream, Senator Feinbold, and Chair Rodericks, 
and their staffs who have worked tirelessly these past few months on meeting with people, going over the language, the bill, refining it, expanding the scope. So you will hear from them in a moment. Thank you to the other senators who contributed to this bill, and there are many others who had parts included in Sazen It. Thank you to the election officials who ensure that our democracy runs smoothly. Thank you to our local officials, our clerks, who work so hard and get so much done to protect our democracy and our elections. And thank you to our voting rights advocate who persisted and never gave up. So thank you, and I'd like to take this moment to now turn over the microphone uh, to Chair Michael Rodericks, our chair of our Ways and Means, to acknowledge all the hard work that he has done uh, on this bill. Thank you, he and his staff, by the way, thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Good morning, everyone. Um, Madam President, thank you uh, for your steadfast leadership. Uh, thank you for ensuring that this piece of legislation is prioritized um, in this part of our legislative session. I am so proud that we are gonna be taking up this bill uh, in the next week. As we look across the country and we see states attempting to suppress and restrict voting access to their citizens, and here we are moving in the opposite direction. Massachusetts again takes the lead where we are expanding and ensuring uh, that our citizens have a greater opportunity and ability to vote. Thank you to the architect of the bill, Senate Majority Leader, Senator Cindy Cream. Thank you, M Madam Leader, for drafting and filing such a tremendous piece of legislation and to the fabricator, the construction manager that took all the pieces uh, and all the ideas and put it together uh, to the Senate Chair of the Committee on Election Law, Senator Barry Feingold, for his work and really reporting to Ways and Means a very comprehensive, well-structured bill um, to my staff um, for all the hard work they've done. Um, on a procedural note, the piece of legislation is being exec out of the Committee on Ways and Means as we speak. Uh, the poll closes at 11 a.m. Um, we hope to adopt the bill, accept the bill in today's session, and debate the bill next week uh, on Wednesday, October 6th. The Senate will engage in the debate and the vote on this particular piece of legislation. I'd like to now um, introduce, uh, as I introduced her before um, as the architect of this uh, uh, bill, uh, Senate Majority Leader, Senator Cindy Cream. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Rodericks. Uh, I do want to repeat the thanks, but I want to thank the Senate President, Senator Spilka, Senator Rodericks, and Senator Feingold for working so collaboratively to put out a bill early first important bill when we returned from our brief recess. And I think that makes a statement. We want this to move and we want it to move quickly. I would like also to thank, they're right here, the Committed Coalition of Voting Rights Advocates, along with the more than 100 legislative co-sponsors of the Votes Act, for their role in crafting this comprehensive legislation to expand and increase voter participation and modernize our election registration system. At this time in our country's history, we know now more than ever how critical it is to ensure that all voices are heard in our democracy, and this bill embraces that ideal. Two key components, or components of the Votes Act are making permanent the option for mail-in voting and early voting in person. These are no longer just novel ideas, but have been tried and tested, and we found it worked, and it worked remarkably well. You'll hear more from this uh, from my colleague, Senator Feingold. I would like to speak about several reforms that I have long supported and that worked to remove voting barriers. The 
Votes Act that we have today made same-day voter registration on election day and during early in-person voting the law of the land in Massachusetts. By passing this bill into law, we would join more than 21 other states that offer similar access and who have proven to the naysayers that same-day registration really works. As we strive for racial equality and inclusion, we should recognize that same-day registration removes barriers to voting that are particularly felt in communities of color. In fact, a recent study by the University of Massachusetts and Think Tank found that same-day registration may play a role in reducing barriers to voting and boosting turnout for black and Latino Americans. It's time to adopt this important reform here in Massachusetts. I'm also pleased that the Votes Act makes important inroads into encouraging and making it possible for incarcerated